the best thing that I want you guys to think of a subtraction problem is ah. well all right so in addition we are basically using this tail to tail to head method we are basically taking you taking the taking the tail of u and adding it to v and therefore getting this resultant vector that was right there right you guys agree with me that's kind of like what we did right so you're adding them but so if you're subtracting them, though, basically what you're doing is you're kind of, instead of adding it, you're taking it away. So it's kind of like going in the opposite direction. Now, there's an easier way to kind of opposite. So instead of going tail to head, you're kind of going like head to head and then trying to go back to your tail. Now, there's an, a an easier way of thinking about this. Rather than, if you guys remember, way back in the day, when you guys learned how to subtract numbers, Subtraction was kind of sometimes difficult, this idea of taking away. So what we said is, uh, or actually when we, I'm sorry, when we first started talking about negative, oh, I'm sorry, uh, negative numbers, right? Negative numbers sometimes got a little bit confusing. So what we said is, we can always rewrite negative numbers as a subtraction. Or I could rewrite this as 5 plus negative 3. Or sometimes even subtraction, yeah, it was a little confusing. So we wanted to say, well, we can rewrite that as 5 plus negative 3. Always keep things in addition, right? Would you guys agree? So I can rewrite this as u plus negative v. So what that means now is now I have a scalar outside of my v. So I have negative 1 comma 3 plus a negative 2 comma 4, which is really negative 1 comma 3 plus negative 2 comma negative 4. Now I do the exact same thing. So now I'm doing negative 3, and this was negative 1. No, that's not right. What happened there? Yep, negative 3, negative 1. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm subtracting the v. Oops, I did the wrong thinking. Do you notice how addition here, it's a good, this is actually a good mathematical point. Notice how addition, it didn't matter which side I, I, I slid. Do you guys see that? Ali, see that? It doesn't matter which side I get. I get to the same resultant vector, correct? But in subtraction, if I subtract this, I get over here. And if I subtract this one, I get over here. So subtraction does matter, right? Order does matter. It matters, are you taking away v or are you taking away u? Correct? Right? That's huge. That's like, oh, wow. Yes. Exactly. So we're actually taking away v. So I should have been talking about this one instead of over there. So in reality, we're taking, instead of adding it, we're taking it away. Or what we really just did is we reflected that vector by adding a negative we really just kind of turned it around. So now, there's my resultant vector. And you can see it's 1, 2, 3. Down 1. Negative 3, negative 1. Done. Yes? Can you draw any of the 14? No, 14's the same. That is 14. Yeah, it's the same thing. 